Alright, this video is about politics, so if you are annoyed by such topics as politics, um, stop watching now. Um, that's all I'm going to say, as far as that's concerned. Now, on to the topic of politics. In November, we are going to be voting for our current form of government all over again. So, the question becomes, are we going to get more of the same? And quite frankly, regardless of who you vote for, it's always going to be the same. And I'll tell you why right now. Because the voters are idiots. The voters vote for the same motherfuckers year in and year out every time we vote. And we expect change from the same idiots that are in charge. Regardless of if it's Democrat or Republican, whether or not it's an R or a D when you go into that booth, it's going to be the same bullshit every time we vote. The thing with politicians is you're going to hear half-truths, full lies, mudslinging, and bullshit. Those are the guarantees of politicians. My view on a politician is I want to find a politician that is like the founding fathers. I want a politician that can sit here and say that they have given their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor for this country. Because out of all those fucking idiots that are in D.C. now, none. None of them can say that. There is no politician that is truly for the people, by the people. They are by the people and for themselves and for their power before anybody else. So, people like Barack Obama can sit here and talk about change all they fucking want. Human nature does not like change. Look at the debates between religion and science. Look at the debates in academics. Look at the debates in within science itself. Established principles and established thought process, people don't like change. You can even apply that to things such as technology. People don't like change unless it is initiated by them by that personal choice or are fed up with the current way things are done so they look for alternatives and quite frankly I find it even more redundant that in this country a third of the voting bloc views themselves as independent yet they either vote Democrat or Republican because the only way they see it is that the Democrats and the Republicans are their only real option. That is not true. You have to make a third party. It is not just going to happen. Like, oh, hey, everyone voted this one instead of you know, Democrat or Republican. It doesn't work that way. You have to be an informed voter. You have to know what you're talking about. You have to know what you're spewing. Don't go by what your union leader says. Don't go by what the president says. Don't go by what your political party leaders say. Only through research, only through knowing both sides of the argument and coming to an informed decision on your part will you truly know what you are talking about. Problem is, it's not spoon-fed to you. You have to initiate. You have to do it. Because people would rather sit here and watch what they see on TV as the truth. Because we can't do research. With all the available research materials we have, we can't even spend 10 minutes on the internet to look up an issue and see both sides of the perspective. That's fucking lazy. That's fucking stupid. And these are the people that vote. Give me a break. So, we have three options right now. Constitutional amendment, 
by voting their asses out. Problem with that. Super majority. If you, because you sure as hell know the House and the Senate are going to kick and scream about that one. You will not get a super majority vote out of that current form. There's only one other way, and that's to skirt tail around that by having the states vote within a constitutional convention type atmosphere in order to initiate those changes. That is probably more likely to happen than a constitutional amendment by any idiot in D.C. You got a second choice, and that one's got its own problems. Instead of a constitutional amendment, you can actually vote their asses out when you vote. But, you know, that requires an informed voting block. That requires people to know what the hell the politicians are lying about, what they're telling half-truths about, and what they're completely bullshitting people on. Hold them to these promises. Actually mean it. Call them. Do whatever. Hold these immoronic, dumbass politicians that we keep voting in to their word. This is why there's so much discontent with Congress. They have they have lower approval numbers than the fucking president right now. I mean, give me a break. You have option C. That's got a whole lot of other issues on top of it. Option C is the violent overthrow of a government and replacing it with a different form. Now, the problem with that one, a violent overthrow, there's a possibility that whoever or whatever form of government takes over is actually going to be worse than the one that it replaced. Then, you have the completely last option, and that's complete anarchy, because what will happen is if you overthrow that other government that replaced the old one, it's just going to keep to leading to a vi um, a circle that is going to be anarchy or civil war or call it what you will. So my call to the politicians in the voting bloc is, as far as to the voting bloc, Research. Research. There's an issue that you don't actually know or a politician tells you that they think they know? Research it. Know your issues. Know the issues within and what the people that are spewing their shit truly are. And to the politicians... To the politicians, my message is simple. Let me see one of you, one fucking politician of you, finally be for the people and by the people, and have pledged your life, fortunes, and your sacred honor for this country. I don't see that happening, because 99% of those politicians can, will not fit that litmus test. 99% of those politicians have not bled, cried, or dropped any sweat for this country. None. That's the sad fact. That's the sad reality. Because as much as they want to think they're like the Founding Fathers, the Founding Fathers know what the fuck they were doing. The Founding Fathers actually cared. The Founding Fathers actually gave me shit about this country. and didn't spew bullshit and were concerned about their own power base. Just to see if they could stay in power a little bit longer. That's the fact. That's the reality. The question is, are you going to change it or are you going to let shit stay the same?